Nice to meet you, boys. And you are? Tanya Forster. Actually, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm doing A&E in St Hughes. Well, we could have a word with one of your flatmates. They're all at work. Oh, I'll come back later. Actually, I'd rather sort it out now, whatever it is. Can we talk while I head out to my car? Sure. We're following up a complaint. About our visitors? Yeah. The old woman next door. I don't think she'd go this far. It's not a criminal offence to have a few friends around, is it? She's elderly. Seeing strange men coming in and out, it's unsettling for her. Especially at night. We're four girls sharing. We've all got boyfriends. Some of us more than one. We work mad shifts, so I suppose it does get a bit hectic sometimes. Not working, no play. Exactly. Well, if you could perhaps have a word with your flatmates, organise things a bit better. Of course. Is that it, then? That's it. Well, I'm sorry if you've been on a bit of a wild goose chase. Oh, we've had worse. I've, uh, got to run. What do you reckon, Tony? She's at the top. Nah. What now? Now put the old girl's mind at rest. Can what? Not more. Oh, these are from Barton Street. At least they've sorted through theirs, unlike Sun Hill. Cool. That means we can get cracking, then. Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Brandon. I think our best bet is to sort through all the Sun Hill cases and then dump all the non-CSU cases back on people's desks. That'll wipe the smile off their faces. And in the meantime, we're just sitting here. It's hardly a spectacular start. So what do you suggest we do, Jim? Racially motivated attacks on the Bronte estate. I reckon we should get out there and start asking some questions. And we will, as soon as we've sorted this lot out. But we can't just pick a case at random and then charge at it like a bull at a gate. We've got to prioritise. Be methodical. Couldn't agree with you more, Jim. Well said. So? Is this a royal visit, sir? No, just a bit of moral support and uh, a seal of approval. Much appreciated, sir. Pleasure, Cathy. I know some people in the service see the CSU as a gimmick, but it's not. Oh, I've got no problem with it, as long as we carry on nicking villains rather than making excuses for them. Yeah, well, I'm sure you see what you do as a proper police work, ain't you? Yeah. I'm a thief taker. Hi, oh, Alex here. Well, so would you say that the way the Met handled the Stephen Lawrence murder has made your job harder or easier? Harder. No doubt about it. It's a good point, Jim. And I'll tell you something. In less than 10 years, over 50% of London's population will be visibly ethnic. So, Inspector, do you think we can police that city without the support of that 50%? Obviously not. Good. Because I'll tell you something else. The CSU is not a temporary measure. It is the future. And whatever relationships we build here will be used by the rest of the service. Well, the current practice looks like you're sitting around on your backside. Well, actually, Inspector, uh, Brandon and Jim were just heading out to the Bronte estate to a suspected racially motivated attack. It's fast work, Jim. Let's hope we get a result. I want you to know that we are determined to make this a success, sir. And not just a dumping ground for the cases that nobody else can be bothered to follow through. Luke! I told you to get a shower. Yeah, I'm on my way, Sarge. No one can find me a locker key. Something's never changing. Well, get a move on. You've got to see Mr Chandler and check in with Sergeant Gilmore. Yeah, all right, Sarge. Matt, you been dumping cases on the CSU? Yeah, like you said, Mum. Well, stop. Why? Because St June has been picking off the one with brownie points attached and sending the dross back to us. Can't she get away with that? Apple of Chandler's eye, for the time being. Uh, either of you seen Luke Ashton? Apparently I'm supervising him. That's right. Don't you think Matt would be more suitable, Ma? He does know the lad, after all. He left under something of a cloud, apparently. I thought a clean slate would be appropriate. What sort of cloud? Things got a bit heavy and he bottled it. Nice kid. A bit spineless, if you ask me. Reg Hollis told me he'd been in Africa. Médecins sans frontières. Doesn't sound like a picnic. Not as scary as Canny I rode on a Saturday night. Hmm. Well, we should give him a chance. I'm not saying we shouldn't. I'm just saying keep an eye on him. Anyway, you shouldn't find that a hardship. Why? Nice looking lad. Fancy him to you, Matt. Well, you know me, Mum. I like to keep an open mind. And I thought you were just a bigoted old boy. Nice cup of tea, then. Just a cake, too. She might be a loony, but she can't have cut. Not a loony. She's just old and scared. Seemed a lot happier when we went. She must have gotten somewhere. Don't seem to be in much of a hurry. Those legs. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you dibbock. She's wearing high heels. So maybe she's forgotten her shoes. I'm not so sure. I'm going to do a few checks. Thanks. Oh. Nice hi-fi. <laughs> Belongs to my daughter. She won it in a competition for creative fiction. Impressive. Look, I don't really understand why you're here. I already spoke to one policeman weeks ago. Ah, oh, well, we're part of a new unit. Community safety. We specialise in tackling the sort of abuse your daughter's been getting. We intend to make sure it doesn't slip through the system. Well, here's Anna now. I haven't had any trouble. And the original allegation? It was a mistake. I'm not a victim of racial abuse. When's this Ashton going to turn up? Oh, well, he's having a shower. What do you think this place is? A holiday camp? Well, well, well. I think we'd better go and have another word with Miss Florence Nightingale. Are you all right? No, it's not all right. You should have reported to me an hour ago. Oh, you, you must be Sergeant Gilmore. Luke Ashton. Sorry about this. I've been having a bit of a nightmare. Pleased to meet you. At last. Short shift at St Hughes, was it? I got the days mixed up. What are you doing back so soon? That's what we wanted to ask you. I got halfway to the hospital before I realised. What? That you aren't a nurse? Sorry? I checked for St Hughes. They've never heard of you. You know what these hospitals are like. They never keep track of the agency nurses. Yeah, I thought of that. That's why I checked with UKCC. Or maybe you're the only nurse in the country that's never heard of the Central Council, where every nurse is registered. I'm sorry, I'm just not with it today. I'm exhausted. Not from nursing. What are you insinuating? Come on, Tanya. You're no more a nurse than I am. You're on the game. Which actually is no big deal, so long as you're prepared to cooperate with us. Well, I reckon Anna's terrified. She didn't seem frightened to me. That was an act. Yeah, well, I'd like to knock on a few doors. Well, she won't press charges. I thought the job of the community safety unit was to dig deeper. You know, find out what's really going on. These measures will build on the hugely valuable work being carried out by the community safety units already established in a number of boroughs. In short, ladies and gentlemen, a revolution in policing methods. Thank you. Excuse me, speech, sir. A DC Mickey Webb. Nice of you to say so. How long were you in the job for? for more than 20 years. Didn't you work on a Ramsey report in 96? My, you have done your homework. What is it you're after? <laughs> All right, I'll come clean. A little birdie told me you used to be good friends with my super. Now, who's that? Tom Chandler. OK, sir. Yeah, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, just need to sit down for a moment. Sorry, I didn't mean to cause you any upset. I was, well, I was just looking for a few funny stories, that was all. Having a bit of a do for him, you see. Thought we'd have a bash at this is your life. I'm sorry, uh, it's just when you came out with Tom's name, it felt like someone had walked across my grave. All present and correct. Close on this time, Sarge. Should hope so. It's a hell of a way to meet your supervising sergeant. <laughs> hope you don't hold it against me, <laughs> so to speak. How long have you been away, Lou? Just over two years. Do you reckon you've forgotten much? No, well, it's just like riding a bike, really. You've forgotten one thing. What's that? That you're a PC and I'm a sergeant. Sorry. Get to your feet, constable! Stand to attention! In the few hours since you've got back, you have singularly failed to impress. Sergeant Boyden tells me you look like a tramp when you eventually arrived. Then you took over an hour to have a shower. I couldn't find the key. Do not interrupt me. Sergeant. 